What's up everyone? My name is Isaac and today I want to talk about how to get unlimited ideas for your next programming project. So this is actually something I get asked about a bunch on this YouTube channel. How do you get all of your ideas? So I thought I would create a list with you right now live as we go through this and uh, yeah I'll try to give you my best tips for idea generation. So the first tip I have is to make it a habit to write down absolutely all of the ideas that you might come across. I have built up a couple of different idea documents, I guess you can call it, over the past 10 years or so and there are so many shit ideas in these documents but I think having built the habit to actually write everything down is great. For the past couple of years most of my ideas go straight into Obsidian which is a great note-taking program so if I have an idea let's say math scrabble I can create a new document and immediately link it to my master idea document so from here idealista I link all of my projects and I can very easily skim through the backlinks of this to find all of my brilliant ideas so yeah math scrabble this I would imagine is uh, scrabble game but instead of words you are using math equation holy shit that's a great idea another place that is great to write down your ideas is in physical notebooks i like carrying these around with me wherever i go so that's another great place to jot it down very quickly okay so that's my best tip write down everything but i guess this doesn't really answer how do you actually get the idea so for this i would first try to pay attention to all of your pain points in your daily digital life so for instance i use both a wired mouse and my trackpad on my mac very frequently so when i'm at home i usually use the mac with an external display like this one and then when I'm at work or just out and about I use my Mac without it. And one thing I've noticed is that I manually have to flip the scrolling direction every time I connect the mouse in here I have to toggle off natural scrolling and uh, yeah just small pain points like this is a great example of where a coding idea would spawn so what i'm envisioning here is actually having a taskbar program where i can easily toggle the scroll direction with just a click instead of having to do the whole system uh, setting navigation okay so that's also a great tip try to find annoyances in your daily tech life that was tip number two and my next tip would be to not be afraid to take some pretty heavy inspiration from others. That's a great place to find coding ideas. So for instance, I have this program on my Mac called IA Writer and the writing experience in this program is simply great. As you can see, the line you are working on is always at the center and everything else is sort of grayed out when you're writing. So it's a very like focused environment. and. Just taking inspiration from this, I would say that a great idea could be to create a NeoVim plugin that emulates this. So something that has a typewriter effect and a sort of send mode effect at the same time. Yeah, so my third tip is uh, find inspiration from other places. Boom. Okay, and the next tip I have is to try to find some communities either in real life which is probably best or maybe online where you can discuss ideas with other people and just see what other people are up to that's a great way to find inspiration and come up with some cool stuff so for instance i saw this one post on the web dev subreddit a couple of months ago of this one person that had made a signature section on his website and i thought you know what that is so sick i want to create one on my own website and I had a really fun evening coding and implementation for myself. Now unfortunately my signature mural was sort of griefed immediately by my discord but uh, you know what it was fun anyways and uh, I'm actually working on getting this up and running again so stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay so that was the my tip of being part of programming communities. Lastly I want to talk about uh, the fact that 
trying to very actively find an idea i think is very hard i think you should try to just let it come sort of organically and if you're in between projects and you don't really know what to do i would recommend maybe trying to learn some new coding concepts and see if learning something new sparks some new ideas. So that's one of the things I really like about programming is how diverse the field is and how much different things you can learn. So for instance, things that uh, have interested me in the past and that I maybe want to learn more about in the future could be stuff like shaders and video games and hardware projects. And uh, yeah, those are all kind of very different from my normal life of app and web development, but uh, still a great way to find cool ideas. So for instance, a game I have worked on a bit is a game called Tilted Typer, where you play as a giraffe type racing other players and NPCs. So yeah, that was a fun uh, project to, uh, to have worked on. And lastly, while we are on the subject of learning new programming concepts, I really want to thank Brilliant.org for sponsoring this video. Brilliant.org offers interactive courses in programming, computer science, AI and more, which all can come in handy for sparking ideas for real world applications and problems to solve. What I personally really like about Brilliant is how they break down complex concepts into small, more feasible challenges. So if you want to try out Brilliant and everything they have to offer, go ahead and visit brilliant.org slash Isaac, or you can scan the QR code on screen to get a 30 day free trial. You will also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. The link is also in the description below and yeah, Thank you again to brilliant.org and see you in the next video.